Wearing the black shorts with the gold trim, weighing in at 12 stone, two pounds. He's boxed out of Hungary. Isabel Zella! And boxed out of Blue Corner, weighing in 12 stone, four pounds. Wearing the pink and black shorts. He is from Oldham. He is Mr. Mark. Sixteen fights, sixteen wins, thirteen by the way, the big KO. Man on the bell, it's the Bill Lewis. Great noise inside here now. Yeah, it's busy, isn't buzzing, it? Buzzing, isn't it? Buzzing now. Buzzing. Really buzzing. Um, popular lad, Mark, sold over 450 Bravo. tickets himself. Bravo. He looks calm, Simon, doesn't he? Yeah, know? yeah he does. I, I, th I think in the past, boxing at home's brought a bit of pressure for Mark. But um, yeah. I know he's been working on that and feeling a lot more comfortable. And he keep, does look nice and calm here tonight. Yeah. Keep, keeps uh, reassuring me that he's uh, kind of settled down and everything now. And, you know, he's back on track. And this sort of recent performances, this last six to 12 months, would, it, would uh, sort of indicate that. Yeah, me and Lou were fantastic last time out. It's the best I've seen Mark look. Yeah. You know, he, yeah. he, he looked good inside. His defence was good. He, he still looked powerful, though, but he, he just looked like a, a more polished all-round fighter. And that was the thing with last time. He actually had to think about what was coming back, but probably the first time in his career. Just sounded his opponent out. Ooh. He's a, a he's genuine, what? genuine power puncher, Mark, isn't yeah. he? Kid Dynamite, his name. Definitely uh, fair one, that. No, he's What's one of them ones? The he's other guy I know about it. He's settled now with Ricky, isn't he, over in hiding? You know, seems to be. Been around the gyms. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's still not been with Ricky that long. It's a month or two now, isn't it? But, you know, I mean, Rick, Ricky... Uh, Knows he's got a real sort of prospect on his hands, if you like. Not prospect, because he's 25 now, isn't he? But, yeah. Yeah. And, and over a plans for a, a big title by October if he comes through tonight. Yeah. You know, I'm, uh, one of the big bills that Frank Warren's uh, promoting, possibly in Leeds, possibly on the Liam Smith Liam Williams card, and will be a, a good name opponent opposite him that night. But first, he's got to get past uh, Ispanzella. And it would have been very easy for Mark to get carried away tonight and come in winging away, but he's not. He's, he's working to a plan. He's took the centre of the ring, nice and calm, moving his head. Jab's working. Yeah, Zeller's won, won meant much more than he's lost. Patient Mark, but that right hand's cocked and ready to go at all times, yes, isn't it? Yeah, he's just doing his best to try and get out of the way, Zeller, isn't he? He's dodging and weaving. You can only keep that up for so long, I would imagine. It's just one of them's just gonna land in it soon. To see that from Mark Efron, you know, he's, I was expecting him to come out a bit wild tonight, Simon, and but he's not. He's, no, he's, no. he's boxed to orders clearly, and it, it's worked. But he's got the right hands there for him. You know, Zeller, he's, he's, Zeller doesn't quite look in his league, but rather than make it messy and stuff, he's, he's going about in the right way. Yeah. I think he's, he's he's kind of sat down. Mark told me that he's sat down with Ricky and, and you know asked Ricky about his experiences and stuff, and you know about different sort of pressure situations and. And that you know, and I think he's he's, he's listening now. You know, um, it, you know, obviously his home life's changed with his um, settling down with his his partner and his new baby and all that. And you know, it, it, it does, does help you sort of 
settle down. If, in, in, if you sort of settled in your sort of life outside the ring, it's, it makes such a difference. Yeah, don't get too two. much away because we'll have to buy the magazine to read it. But there's a, I've got a, a good five pages coming up in Boxing Monthly with Mark next month. Where really? We walked all the way down Yorkshire Street. and all right. And the stories about all the, the scrapes he got into. Oh, fantastic. In, in those days and the reputation his dad's got. And I think Mark had a, did have a lot of pressure on his shoulders turning over. He, you know, he turned over quite young, didn't he, and ended up it, skirting around the world. It, yes, he did. But now he can finally put some roots down, and he's also putting some right hands here on uh, Isfan Zilla. Yeah. There's a oh, huge one. Now then. Ricky's let him off a leash, hasn't he? Very measured first round from F1, just filling him out. But as soon as he's landed in this round, he's realised yeah. that... Looks like he's only a matter of time before Zella. Look, he's just... Just, can't, just don't go too gun polar, Mark. He's, uh... Yeah, just, he's just a, an inch out of range, isn't he? That's just giving uh, Zella a chance to just turn his head away from those right hands. If Mark just shuffles his feet in a little inch more, like that. Yeah. in my body there. Kevin Marie, who's Mark's manager and really stuck by him over the years, he's convinced that Mark's a world champion. He says if, if Mark doesn't become a world champion, he doesn't know anything about boxing. I think there's quite a few people that echo those sort of sentiments, though, to be fair, isn't there? I think a lot of it's down to Mark himself. Yeah. Oh, oh, brutal body two, shot right to the three, solar plexus. Four. I think the, the Five, first one might have been a touch six, slow, and that's what he's complaining seven, about. The second eight. one certainly wasn't. Some nice footwork Ooh. there from everything. Just yep. keeping Zella pinned in the ropes, pinned in the corners against the ropes, not giving him a second to breathe. Did have hand trouble last time out and switched south boy. He's just gone south boy again now. It's not that long since he fought. I just wonder if that hand's but possibly. I mean, yeah. Affecting him again. He assured me the other day it was okay, but you don't know these in terms of I was thinking that on the way here, actually, because it looked quite bad, didn't it, it the warehouse? It did look bad, but he was telling me his cryotherapy sorted it out within a couple of sessions. He's on his way. Yeah, Zellers is ready to go. Heffern's just looking for the, the picture perfect shot. What I like about this is he's keeping his range, isn't he? He's not falling in and ending up in clinches. I can't remember a clinch. That's a big round for Heffern. Yes, very much so. The one thing I'd like to see from Mike, just take his time a little bit more and put a little combination together because a lot of his shots are single shots at the moment and he puts three or four punches together and it might be game over. Like a bit more touch, touch, bang. Exactly. Ricky's actually showing him what to do rather than just telling him. <laughs> Some happy nights watching that fella in the ring in, in Manchester. Yeah, it's phenomenal, wasn't it? Blimey, yeah. Corners, ten seconds. Not sure there'll ever be another another thing like that. It just took off, didn't it? But it, it did, yeah. I mean, we, 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 we got Down. reasonably close Down to the, the crawler fights in recent years, but nothing sort of touched the sort of zoo uh, night. One of the best nights I enjoyed was when he fought uh, fought Neary. I thought that was cracking that night, all the Irish that came over. Yeah, McGee was a, a, uh, top, sorry. a uh, top fighter, McGee, wasn't sorry, he? Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. The, 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 the vast intake of breath when he yes. got dropped in the first sorry. round. Yes. <laughs> One of the toughest guys uh, to lay some up, Eamon, I think. Mark. This Van Zeller just made the cardinal mistake when you fight Mark Eppen, he turned his back. <laughs> Yeah, 
good. Yeah. Nice bit. Oh. One, two, I thought three, just on just on the four, belt line yeah, it was. Five, yeah, it was close, wasn't it? Six, seven, to be fair, he's eight. not complained. Playing off, you know, from overloading up, Mark's done a, a little bit with that right hand. It's been the body shots that have had the most effect. That was a solid right hand, just went right through the middle of uh, Zeller's guard there. I think that might hurt him more than anything so far. Real grimace on Zeller's face. He's, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's looks struggling with his way through this. Looks painful, doesn't it? Yeah. So you're what a tough guy though, surviving it. Perhaps he deserves a bit of credit for kind of still being in there, you know, he's uh, hanging in there. Switched again for the moment. Well, that have been a conscious uh, plan, John. Switching or yeah, well, you you don't know what's going on in his head here, but I, I know he was doing it fairly regularly, wasn't yeah. he, at the warehouse? It's good that he's thinking about things. You know, if, if he can't see an opening, he's switching to think about it instead of just wailing away with yeah. big right hands yeah. and left hooks. He did it much more frequently at the warehouse. It was almost, he'd attack in the orthodox stance and then switch over and change the angle a little bit, and he kept doing it. Maybe it is something they've worked on, it's something that yeah. they yeah. want him to start doing. I mean, he's, you know, Ricky's bound to have impressed sort of a lot of different ideas into Mark, and, you know, it's probably a lot of new, new stuff he's, he's kind of learning and that. Well, the most obvious one tonight is the body shots, yes. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We know, Renowned for it. We know who was famous for them, don't we? Well, considering Corners, the, the second seconds. round, Zeller's lasted already longer than I thought he would. You know, he's a tough guy, isn't yeah. he? He's had, he's had that look on his face since the first 30 seconds. Yes. Now for the fourth and his final round. Solid right hand, and Zeller again, he just absorbs it. Just drop it on him, the right hand speed thing. Still doing his utmost to get out of the way and bob and weave. Mark's just fainting and moving a little bit more, isn't he? Trying to create an opening here, you know, instead of just launching shots, he's just trying to move his feet and move his head and create something. Just went over his head. And Rick is telling him to body and then up to the head. The straight shot seems to be working for Mark in there tonight. Yeah, the right hand's been uh, yeah. most the best shot, and the job to her body's worked well. Look how high Zola's shorts are. <laughs> yeah.
just a lot a lot slicker in this in this fourth round you know just avoiding a lot more shots and dominating from the center of the ring making it easy for himself instead of trying to put pressure on himself and load up with the right hand looking to knock him out with one shot you know, he's, he's not going to lose that power is he but the opportunities will present themselves as fights go on About eight rounds onto so his uh, onto time. Don't forget he's won he's won 37 fights, hasn't he? Well. So he's yeah. you know he must have learned a lot from those sort of fights. I know he's lost 17, but plenty of experience and certainly learn how to look after yourself, don't you? Yeah. You just look around the arena, it's most hell of a lot of people standing up. You know, he's got very that's the end of the fight, it's four rounder tonight. Title taken off the line. Matt uh, just working on things in that final round. Just got to the center of the ring and just got to the center of the ring and dominated behind that jab. We're saying a 40-35. 34. Two knockdowns, aren't there? Sorry, a two knockdowns, yeah. One, ladies and gentlemen, give both these fighters a round of applause, please. Very routine victory for Mark there. I was, and I was the checking it, but uh, well, it wasn't right. it was winner, Like John says, with the title taken off the line. He is Mr. Mark Efron in the blue corner. There we go, Mark Efron extends his unbeaten run. Solid victory. We hope you enjoyed the action here from Oldham tonight. I think it, I don't think it'll be the last time we'll be back. Solid night of fights. We have wins for Jake Hay, Joe Rico, Kaz Niaz, Liam Taylor, Mohamed Rashid, Luke Willis, Jack Kilgannon, Shakib Ali, Jack Flatley, Danny Wright and Mark Efron. For me, Luke, you know what? I, I think Luke Willis and Shakib Ali were the, were the standouts tonight. What do you reckon? Yeah, I agree with that. I think Liam Taylor and Jake Hague looked good early on as well. I think they, they really impressed, but there hasn't been any bad performances, so to speak. Everyone's got the job done in there tonight and never looked in doubt, really. Yeah. Have you enjoyed it, Simon? Yes, I certainly have, mate. Yeah, fantastic. Great to see a, a packed um, sports centre here in Oldham, you know, in our hometown. And, uh, you know, boxing's back on the... Uh, back on the agenda in, in a big way in, in our town, you know, so uh, it's lovely for me to see as a writer for the Oldham newspaper. Great stuff, yeah. really enjoyed it, and yeah. all our four lads won, so... Happy days. You Happy can read Simon in the Oldham Chronicle, give him a plug there, and yeah. we'll be back on VIP TV in August in Birkenhead. Friends. Friends.